हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द सबमर्जल पंप इन द लास्ट सेशन वी डिस्कस अबाउट सेंट्रीफ्यूल पंप सो नाउ द दिस पंप्स आर डीप सबमर्जल पंप सपोज वी नीड टू पंप द वाटर अंडरग्राउंड व्हिच आर अंडरग्राउंड सो इन दिस कंडीशन वी विल यूज सबमर्जल पंप व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ सबमर्जल पंप वी विल डिस्कस नाउ द सबमर्जल पंप मींस बोथ पंप एंड मोटर आर सस्पेंडेड and operated under the water table suppose if you see this picture so we see nowadays all this type of pumps these are called submersible pumps and here so this are the, this is the your pump so this is your electric motor okay electric motor so here the copper winding is there on the side of this motor these are both connected see here both there is no gap and they are connected that is called the and this is suspended under the water both pump are electric motor are under the completely submerged in the water that is the meaning of this so there is no moving part uh, on the ground if you see here so there is no moving part on this ground simply the electric wire cable and this outlet shaft we will uh, see and from this here water will go to the our fields the in this uh, impeller if you see uh, in this case the impellers are uh, back curves like you were uh, same centrifugal pump and that are maybe closed open and semi open uh, this type of uh, pumps are usually used to depends on our need so this type all classification already given in the previous video and these pumps are arranged in series all arranged in the series okay when you arrange the pumps in series to create to pump the water maximum head or impeller should be arranged on a common shaft in the series okay and when you arrange in parallel for giving maximum discharge that is the q value if you not understand please go the classification of centrifugal pump based on your uh, multi stage okay you, impellers are closed impellers are generally used for the developing the high pressure in this pump as i told just now the submersible pump is the which device sealed motor closed coupled to pump body okay as i told you this both are closed and sealed there is no open part in this outside okay so let us see the working procedure of this centrifugal pump okay so now major components of this centrifugal pump are pump motor assembly discharge pipe this is the discharge pipe and the electric uh, wire uh, that is called electric cable that is connected to the user electric motor okay and head assembly so let us see the working procedure uh, of the centrifugal pump in this video so this is the electric uh, electric motor and this is a pump this pump is upside electric motor is downside so this is submerged in the water total water is going outside of this pump so this is cable electric cable connected to this motor okay now see this is the impeller which is curved backward and impellers look like similar as your centrifugal pump so these are the back curved vanes as i told you and these are maybe open semi open uh, here we are closed impeller these are the both set closed okay arranged on the common shaft see these are the four impellers are arranged this is your induced motor here the water will enter okay in this uh, case this is called fence small openings here water will enter in this impeller and create a kinetic energy due to this uh, backward curve and this water will go okay with high velocity to the diffuser okay to the diffuser so this diffuser will convert this high kinetic energy into pressure energy that is the function of diffuser so same thing now this diffuser will throw the water to the next impeller with the same high head here so now this again this impeller is connected to diffuser again second impeller is with diffuser and like this number of impellers we are connected with the diffuser so that the pressure kinetic energy converted into the pressure energy and the water will reach you to the target heights so here the, this is more starter okay this is connecting to the your impeller okay this uh, starter will rotate the rotor will rotate the your shaft so that the impeller will rotate and the, which are arranged on common shaft this uh, motor is lubricated with uh, Uh, water so that it will maintain the heat okay constant heat in the motor so there is no overheating of this pumps and this submersible pumps are self priming okay there is no need of the priming please remember this is the most important concept so water will enter in this type of uh, small hole okay and this will pump to the your target source of higher heat the next pump is your propeller pump so these pumps are used for the low head or low lift and high discharge or high flow rate so these pumps are maximum uh, lift is up to 2.5 1 to 2.5 the flow through this impeller of your propeller type impeller is parallel to the axis or uh, drive shaft rather than your radial as i told you the flow in this impeller will come in the straight way direction and goes in the straight okay 
so not rather than the going in this radial or up to 90 degrees so that is called your if you going water in this direction that is called radial or um, water will go in this direction only straight water will come and goes from the impeller outward in this straight well that is called your axial flow pump so these are the pumps are two types one is axial flow type and mixed flow type so with same thing we discussed in the our types of uh, classification of centrifugal pump now let us see what is the difference between axial and mixed flow when in this uh, axial flow the water will come uh, to the impeller in the straight direction to the impellers are screws the water will this impeller throws the water in this direction only to rotation of the shaft parallel to the shaft rotation so that is called your axial flow where in the your radial flow when this radial flow uh, this water will come to this impeller in this straight direction similar way but this uh, rotation of this impeller will throw this water in this direction in the perpendicular direction okay now water will come in the straight like this way and due to rotation of this impeller rotation of this impeller this impeller will throw the water in this direction means the theta is here 90 degrees so that radial okay that is the meaning of the radial and next one is mixed flow Mixed flow means combination of the centrifugal and your axial. So that is the mixed flow. So here the water will come to the shaft in this way and it will go in diagonally. So not even straight. Okay. Not even radial or vertically. This will go direct diagonal like this. So this is called your mixed flow pump. Okay. The only the design of impeller is such. The difference between these two or three types are only design of impeller is different nothing else so as i told you in this picture this type of uh, pump are used for the low head where the pumping the water from the canal to your irrigation fields so these radial pumps are used for the high head low discharge and axial flow pumps are used for the high discharge low head and these are the mixed pumps are used for medium discharge and head okay airlift pump is that the low suction and moderate discharge we use for the low suction and moderate discharge of the liquid so this air lift pump operates on the principle of difference in specific weight in the water column in the well which is called the column in the rise of the water in a pipe okay to the surface okay this is a ground surface and the air pipe airline pipe so that the compressed high air will thrown to this suction pipe from the bottom okay and this is your uh, discharge pipe or so in the air lift pump the high compressed air using the nozzle okay used for the lifting the water this compressed air directly injected through the called eductor pipe into the well of water at the bottom of the discharge pipe this is the discharge pipe so this is the discharge pipe so here we will induce the high pressure of your air so which is mixed with the water due to biases okay difference in the uh, weight of the uh, specific weight of the water and the air so because the specific weight of the air is low and water is high but this water is mixed with the air so in this condition the density also be reduces due to density difference and vacuum is created so water will come in this section and due to mixing of water uh, air uh, uh, water is mixed with the air and it will move outside that is the concept here okay this type of pump having low efficiency very low that is your 20 to 40 percent or average of this 30 percent okay if you see this diagram okay the all components are given if you see this pump okay submerged in the water this is the water table and this ejector pipe and your outlet pipe both are submerged so that is the submerged ratio this pump should be submerged okay this is the water level the, below the 40 percent of this pump should be submerged below this water level so the ejector pipe and air pipe must be submerged so that is more than 40 percent of your total length suppose this total length is 100 meters so this should be how much 40 percent that is a 40 meter the remaining this is the 60 meters okay now again think so now this is the water level here and whatever this water will rise okay this is called your lift and this is called your uh, submergence okay we can represent with l and a or any other terms so this is the simple concept that high air is injected at the bottom of this pump of your delivery pipe so through the nozzle so this is called your head of the water available head of the water level and this is a total lifting total head that is called your total lift actual lift of the water is this one that is the l see here same thing picture is here now the difference is what is this h minus small h this difference or l so result optimum result obtained that h minus small h should be lesser than your small h this is the condition so this ratio should be range between the 1 to 4 suppose if you taking the h is 90 meters height this is height is 90 meters and this is the total height is 180 meters 
So you'll get the value is 1. And if you take in H is 30 meter and capital H is 37.5, this ratio will be 4. The best efficiency of the air lift pump is, as I told you, the submergence and the percentage of submergence ratio will be calculated by using this formula. 60%. Don't confuse. This value they will ask in the examination. Neither this formula. Okay, they will values, they will ask. The next one is your jet pump. The jet pumps are used for the irrigation purpose. It consists of a combination of centrifugal pump and jet mechanism or inductor. Here, the high compressed uh, small amount of water will throw. Okay, so that is the fixture here. Small uh, nozzle, a small pipe, that is your ejector assembly. So here, uh, it will eject in the small area. Okay. Uh, due to the pressure difference here the pressure difference when area is created area increases pressure will reduce so in this condition the high water will come from the bottom so the same mechanism is created here this is used for the liquid pumping the water and liquid or any other types of fluid so see so this is your suction side this water will here water will here see so water is here the q is coming and this nozzle will when ejected in this condition here pressure will reduce because the area is increases, the pressure will reduce, so the water will enter into the centrifugal uh, suction side pump. Same mechanism. So that is called here. This combination of the two pumps, one is your centrifugal pump and other is Venturi, uh, that is called your jet pump. So that is fitted with nozzle and Venturi. And this type of this type of pumps are two types. One is your shallow and deep. So the shallow well pumps are used for the, uh, in the lift is up to 6.5 to 8.5 meters. And next one, deep are used for the lift of more than the 90 meters. Okay. And this efficiency of these pumps are uh, up to 35%. So this efficiency also depends on your nozzle throat ratio. So what is the nozzle throat ratio? So this is the nozzle here, jet pumps, throat equal to nozzle. Throat means this section. Okay, this ratio of these two. Nozzle and throat. That is for a small pump. And in this condition, the length, length of the throat is a six times of your throat diameter suppose you are taking the length of throat okay length of this throat total length of the throat that is a equal to six into throat diameter so that is a simple concept of your jet pump next to verticality of the tube well so what is the meaning of the verticality of tube well means suppose i told you in the submersible pump the pump should be arranged in a straight uh, shaft okay the, instead of the straight it will shaft will arrange like this Okay, shaft will in the pump will arrange like this due to any region. This is called a crookedness of the tube well. And due to this, the excess uh, pump wear and tear may be takes place. The wear and tear may be takes place as a result the higher power consumption and higher starting current uh, will takes place. This is the most important they asked in the net net exam uh, in the 2013. So due to the verticality of the tube well, what will happen? That is called that is crookedness. So in this condition, the excess to wear and tear will take place so that the higher power consumption and higher starting current will take place. So that is asked question in the net 2020, uh, 30. And we will use the electric current. So which type of electric current we will use? That is AC and 50 cycle and 400 to 430 volts. That is normally three phase electric motor, phase electric power supply. So three phase in motor, uh, in single phase also we will use sometimes. Uh, that is our 230 volts so in this condition we will also use the some starters okay to start the pump okay if you see the in the pump we also use starter so this based on your power uh your motors that is a 2 hp motor 5 hp motor more than this so hand operated switch uh starter we will use that is your single phase and direct online or push type of starter will use for the pump uh, motor is less than the 5 uh, hp motor and start delta up to 5 hp motor Okay, the start delta started with a brake type. Okay, that is 50, uh, 5 to 15 HP motor. Our oil immersive type starter will use when more than 5 HP motor. Okay, so we are not going to details of this all type of starter. We are just where, what is the horsepower and which type of starter we are using. Discuss. Thank you.